Say Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasa Allah, Kuhulim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakaha Kudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments. Love you, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I um, actually had two articles lined up, kind of back to back. They kind of popped up back to back, which I was just going to touch on both of them. But this one, it says um, Black Folklore in Video Season um, 2, Episode 2, The Black Town Under Lake Martin. So, you know, if you are familiar with some of the things that Esau Edom, which is the biblical name for the so-called white man and what he has done, he has built towns by blood you know and the scriptures talks about um you know not doing that and don't think that esau didn't know the scriptures when he was doing a lot of that from the very beginning but this man goes throughout the earth you know he takes places he takes the resources he enslaved the people he puts them under their subjection and and pretty much if you don't go with what they're talking about you know what i'm saying you get that business if you know what i mean but this man has been doing all kinds of treachery for a real long time um it says i'm um, in the 1800s a black man well first off let me get the other article too this one right here i'm gonna touch on this one just a tad too thomas edison tried to take credit for a device created by a black american inventor and you know we we know that um, jake invented a lot of things that they never got credit for so we'll see you know in the future when you have about shimmy i was shy bring up the tally and we get to you know um you know we're going to we're going to get to see everything that Esau really done. See, we're we're not even familiar with everything that he has done to us as a people. We're just familiar with the few things that he kind of chooses to show us <laughs> through his media. But, you know, in the, in the meanwhile, though, you know, the Lord is really putting this man on blast. You know what I'm saying? He's he's really coming to the spotlight now and he, he continues to try and move and mosey him way his way out of it. And you can tell when you read into these comments, these these so-called white people, man, they they hate the fact that the light is continually being shined on them. They want that shit to stop, <laughs> but it's not going to stop, man, because um, Second Thessalonians two and three, it talks about how the man of sin, the son, the son of perdition will be revealed in the last days. This is who this is, is talking about. No one is more treacherous than Esau, man. <laughs> It says in the 1800s, a black man from Alabama named John Benson escaped the thumb of slavery, traveled across state lines to save his sister, and then became a wealthy man who founded a black community on the same land where he was once a slave. But that's just half the story. His son would continue his legacy by building a school as well as the first black owned railroad in the U.S. And you've probably never heard of either of them. Yep, there you go. I, I, I got to admit, I've never heard of a railroad. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard of a railroad being built by um so-called. I mean, I, you know, I've heard of us building them for so-called white people. But, you know, us actually owning one. No, nah, I've never heard of that. OK, it says the majority of his story is steeped in truth, in the truth. But because any remnants of one, any remnants of one flushing town was drowned under one of the largest lakes ever made. Lake Martin which is located in Tallapoosa, Elmore, and Coosa counties in Alabama, was created in 1926 after the construction of the Martin Dam. Now, this wasn't, this wasn't super long ago. It's people still living from 1926. You see? The enormous lake has nearly 700 miles of shoreline and covers 41,000 acres. The, the dam is used to generate hydroelectric elect, power for the um, Alabama Power Company. So Esau got to pay for a lot of this shit, man. You know, they got to pay for it, but well, not a lot of it, but I mean, every all of it. It says because of its size, Lake Martin is very popular tourist destination and it hosts events throughout the year. But before there was a lake, there was John Benson and his small black community near Kawaliga Creek. John Jackson Benson was born September, September 1850 on the shores of Kawaliga Creek in Alabama. His slave owner, James Benson, owned a plantation in Alabama near the creek. There is barely any mention of John's mother or father, but there are few things we know. If John was born a slave, then his mother was a slave. John also had a sister he was very fond of who was sold to a plantation in Florida. In the 1850s, it was not uncommon for slave owners to birth children with black women. 
they kept in bondage. Yep. And that's what Esau was doing. That's why we have a lot of um, chocolate covered Edomites out here. There's a lot of people out here that look like so-called black people. And they're actually so-called white people. If you get what I'm saying, because the seed line goes by your father. I mean, it's real simple. Matter of fact, let me let me pull Let me get that scripture real quick. Um, I rarely ever use this Bible. So let me. If you feel distant from the Lord, uh, Salakia, yeah. Salakia, it's probably out of it. They want to like, because you haven't been reading your Bible. Now I know why. But I don't what if you it. hate <laughs> Salakia? Now I know why I don't use it. And they got white Jesus up here. Now I know why I don't use it. Salakia, y'all, for that. I'm just going to go to the blue letter. Uh, yeah, man, there's a lot going on out here, but Esau is being spotlighted, and, and that's that's what he needs, man. And, and we need to stay on his ass. That's the reason why I'm doing this lesson by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh We need to every time we see stories like this, we need to do something on it to broadcast and show the world because he, he see he wants us to back off. But we're not going to back off, man, because it's your it's their time to be recognized as to who they really are. They're not this 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 white race that looks like a glass of milk. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color, um, pinkish to reddish in color. And, you know, their biblical name is Esau. That's that's who they are. They are Edomites, man. OK, well, let's get um numbers real quick. Chapter one, I'm going to jump straight to the point one in 18 to just prove that the seed line goes by your dad has nothing to do with your mom. The mom is just like a, a, you know, like earth or like an incubator to um, give nutrients to the seed because the seed is with the father. The, the father, you know, through his sperm, basically shoots the seed into the mother, which is like an earth or like dirt or like, um, um, you know, fertilizer, so to speak. And, you know, it brings forth. She brings forth that seed that which is that man. That's exactly what you are. You're exactly what your dad is. There's no such thing as. um. This uh, bi and multi-racial and a mixed and all that shit. That shit is something that the so-called white man came up with. And that's not, them terms are not that old, neither. Numbers 1 and 18, it says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their family. So if you, you know what a pedigree is, that's ancestry. You see what I'm saying? That's your lineage. That's your family tree pedigree after their families by the house of their fathers see that that's how it's done it's not through your mother it's through your father that's why uh, you know a, 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 a son would take on the father's name and he'll keep the father's name to the day that he dies unless he goes to the government and just changes it on his own now a daughter on the other hand she'll have her father's name up until the point that she gets married and then she takes on another man's last name See, it's not the same with the male. The man ca carries over, you know, that's why you'll see like a junior or, you know, a, uh, such and such, such and such the third or, you know, such and such, such and such the fourth. Like Martin Luther King, you got Martha, Martin Luther King Jr. You got his son, you know what I'm saying? Like so on and so forth. Okay, so it says, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by, the, by their poles. But your ancestry goes by your dad. That's why you see all male genealogy pretty much overall throughout the scriptures. You see, it's always telling you that such and such begot such and such. You know, that's a father. You know, that's just how it is. But the so-called white man, he, he, he gets to tell you that, you know what I'm saying? The mother has everything to do with it and, it, and it's not the case. You know, he, he has flipped everything around. He actually has the woman over the man, which is backwards as hell. And, and he's starting to be um, pointed out, man, for just being wicked as hell. Everything this motherfucker is into, man, is just wickedness, man. The whole earth is out of balance because of this man. Let's lock you. Let's go back off into this real quick. I might have to do a split on this. I'm um, just doing a secondary. Uh, I don't know why they keep doing this. They keep coming out of the stories. But anyway, let's go back into it. Okay, uh, let's start here. It says, once James Benson died and his estate divided among his family, John was sent to Talladega, Alabama, to work as a slave for an heir. In 1861, the U.S. would begin in civil war. 
would um, which would boom over the country for the next five years. By 1865, things would change for John, and all he needed was a little opportunity. He was freed after the Civil War and given a meal after Congress passed the, um, the Confiscation Act of 1861. Union generals would often confiscate property from rebels after a battle and gave it to a freed slave. Now that John was free, the young boy knew he was the only one who could save his sister, which his newly acquired mule, John headed from Alabama to Florida to bring his sister home so they could start a new life. A young black man traveling alone right after the end of the Civil War was a death wish, but he went anyway. Oh man, see they're not even getting off into what the story is really about. But anyway, as you can see, I mean, they didn't go all off into it, but you you know, you got the basics there. That this lake, and it's a bunch of those lakes too. It's a, it's a lot of those lakes. Um, matter of fact, let's see. Maybe we can Google something. Just gonna put in lakes over black towns or something like that. Black communities. Yep, it says five black American towns hidden under lakes and ultimately from history. See, Esau don't want you to know stuff like this. This is the reason why, you know, um, you got the, you know, they don't want that critical race theory to be taught. You see, but let's go to the next article. See, even like an article like this, they don't want um, nobody to know that a so-called white man, famous so-called white man, Thomas Edison, tried to take credit for a device created by a black American inventor. Right? It says Gravel T. Woods was a pioneer inventor with nearly 60 patents to his name. See? He said he was one of the most prolific black inventors of the 19th century. In 1880s, Thomas Edison sued Woods twice claiming he first invented the telegraph for trains. Woods' inventions revolutionized transportation, but he faced many challenges as a black inventor. And I mean, that's just a part of the curses, man, of Deuteronomy chapter 28. See? The Lord said, he, hey, when the Lord said, he, when, he, when he spoke about them curses, man, see, we didn't, I mean, when you really think about it, when you read the curses, you wouldn't think that the curses would be to the extent that they are, though, because they, they really, you know, it, it gives you the basics. And, 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 you know, really, when you think about it, it gives you the basics in Deuteronomy chapter 28, because the extent of it is so much further punishing, <laughs> like straight up, man. Cause not it, you know it like it mentions slavery. It don't mention that you know your 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 balls and rod gonna be cut off, gonna be stuffed in your mouth. It didn't mention that you know you you know you're gonna be burnt in trees and you know it didn't. I mean you know what I'm saying? Like to the extent of like you know it gave you the curses, but it don't tell you to the extent of how far how far those curses would go. Here we go. We're in 2023, going into 2024, and 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 our people we're, uh, the curses have really overtaken us man that's what the scripture says that those that those curses will overtake us roughly paraphrasing you see and we're through as a nation of people just just all you got to do is ride by a local store or, 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 or roll by a gas station go into a walmart and look at our people it don't make no difference where we at man our people through from dumbass hairdos to pants hanging off the ass to <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? The brother done a video. He said that he came across a woman. She had 14 kids and 11 baby daddies. Like, God damn. You know, but those are the curses that we're under, right? Okay, so again, I don't want to go too far off into this, man. We pretty much know what's going on with these particular types of stories. There's plenty of them out here. You can Google them. You know, um, there is a lot of things that so-called black people invented that, you know, they didn't get the credit for. And, I mean, of course, you know, that's Esau. Esau, I mean, he's a damn thief. He's a damn thief. Corny as hell. You know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> I mean, it just is what it is. But let's go to the scriptures. Well, this is the main one that I wanted to touch on right here. Because, you know, when you go into them comment boards, like I said again, they be talking shit. The, 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 the proof is there. The truth is there. They don't care nothing about the truth. They'll still go into the comment boards and get to talking shit about how great they are still. You know, and, and, and they'll talk trash about somebody being stolen from. 
How could you? How could you? If you're stolen from, if they're if they're actually stolen from, they want justice. But when it comes to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, oh, oh, you get to mentioning anything about they don't want to hear it. That's when the story changes. They don't want to hear nothing about that. Anybody out here can get credit, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to their story, except for so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Okay, but this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Now, check it out. He actually even stole the he, he, he stole the scriptures and whitewashed the images to make the images look like them. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Who done that? Who gave you white Jesus? So if he'll take the, the scriptures, if he'll steal the scriptures, you know, he'll steal anything else. <laughs> this man stealing everything that ain't nailed down man this man taking everything he gave you white jesus he gave you a white god and beat that shit into our people you know be and you know what as they was flooding those towns out you had negroes at, you know, I'm forgiving these 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 so-called white people, man. All in the name of sweet white baby Jesus. Why? Because that what was what was taught to him was beaten into him strong. Still to this very day, Jake don't get it. Jake still out here. Oh well, I mean, I got a white friend. Oh yeah, look, man. If and shit get, get hit the fans and things get rough, Esau gonna leave you in the dust, bro. If you was to get left on an island somewhere, and it just a matter of fact, they got that movie. What's that? Leave the world behind. <laughs> I mean, hey, you start. We starting to, the the Lord is starting to show the character of Esau. That's why we can pinpoint who he is because the scriptures give you the indicators of who he is. They give you all the markers. He's a damn thief, man. The scripture says that he would be blessed with that sword. What does he do? He goes throughout the earth and he kills, steals, and destroys, man. That sword is his main get down. Everything that he has, man, has been with that gun, that sword. His damn taser, his billy club, his, his nightstick, you know, the damn flashlight. he whoop you over the head with that. That's a weapon. You know, Black Hawk helicopters, damn bazookas, shotguns, rifles, <laughs> shit, Navy ships, submarines, nuclear weapons, man. This man has been terrorizing the planet. And people tired of Esau too, man. These, these nations are real tired of, 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 of the, of the, the so-called European race. Because, you know, the world is starting to see who they really are. Because why? The Lord is starting to show it. Before they used to be able to just go on the news or write a news story and people would just believe that shit. Now people second guessing him and second and questioning him. Like, you know, nah, nah, nah. Nah, well, nah, hell no. Nah. This is what's going on for real right here. <laughs> you know, and that's the reason why Esau want to get rid of the Internet. So this is, you know, you just never know when the blackout really going to come. That leave the world behind type of mentality really going to come because it's coming to a point where they can no longer hide who they are. You got to remember that the scripture says that, um, you know, uh, Cain would be a fugitive. And if you have ears to hear, you know, Esau is, is the reincarnation of Cain through Esau. And Esau has a seed line that's out here. The biblical, you know, the, the, you know the, that seed line is, is the so-called white race. See, everybody has a biblical nationality, man. You can't believe these names that he came up with because the so-called white man came up with German and Russian and Ukrainian and fucking French and all these different. Um, none of those names are biblical. He actually, he even done that. So you have to realize who you're dealing with. The scripture says to never trust thine enemy to come out of this place, man. You need, you have to completely flip man you got to completely come out of talking about being an american all that shit man fuck america because the lord is about to destroy this place he's about to destroy the whole european race man you know that's coming to a point where they're all going to be annihilated but, but thus saith the lord but america is coming first because this is like their their top dog so to speak this they're you know they're, they're like their top bodyguard so to speak the lord is about to knock this place off so you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. See, this is the reason why a lot of... Let me get this too. These things keep coming up because the Lord hasn't forgotten the past. 
and things are going to continue coming up. See, they, they, they try to get smart with the critical race theory classes. Nobody needs that. Nobody, you know, I, I get it with the kids. You know what I'm saying? But really, in reality, hey, these kids, man, they seeing all that shit on, on, on social media. Don't think that Jake just silly out here. These these young these youngsters, these younger ones, this younger generation. Hey, they 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 got a lot more knowledge about um Esau and how he got down on our people. They got a lot of knowledge of that, man. Through social media, you know what I'm saying? The very thing that Esau wished he hadn't created. Instead of, uh, yeah, um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, it says, That which had been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh requireth that which is past. So the Lord, he's requiring that past of yours, man. The things that you've done, the, the, the treacheries that you've done. Here you go, you still... Doing the same shit you've been doing for hundreds of years. You don't think that eventually you're going to reap from that? <laughs> but that's how silly Esau is, man. They don't think that they're ever going to pay for the shit that they've done. That's why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Don't join this man's military. Y'all better let this man go over there and get his own legs and arms and head blown off, man. He stole the country. What you going to help him fight for? Let him do it. Let his young man, let, let, them, let them little young Edomites... Uh, 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 go over there and 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 get the business, man. Why would you go? What? Be how does that benefit you and your family? You might as well stay here, <laughs> and just at least you be in the household with your family. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't have work. Anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sake. But Esau, man, is being being pointed out, man, for who he really is, man. He's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Cause you know how wicked you gotta be. To, to run everybody off their land and fucking flood it out with a lake. So, and, and, and you know these, them so-called white people down there jet skiing, man. They out there with their boats. You know, motherfucking Trump sign on that shit. They all wearing Make America Great hats again and all that shit. But if you dive down, if you scuba dive down, it's a damn uh, a, a, a so-called black church right there under the boat. <laughs> Jake Cabins, man. Damn fence line still up from having some damn pigs or something. But anyway, man, hey, them just the curses that we're under, man. And we're not, nothing's, we're not going to get out of that until the Lord comes. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, the best you can do is repent. That's the reason why we're doing the lessons, though. Overall, that's the ultimate goal, to, to, to preach repentance. To teach repentance and that the kingdom is at hand and the Lord is on his way. You know, because Esau not going to, he, the Lord not going to about to let this man continue to rule, man. Because if he do, what do you think, what can absolutely, what can actually survive another 5, 10, 20 years of this man's rulership? The damn groceries through the roof right now. People, people can barely afford to eat, man. Because of this man. You can barely put gas in your car to even get back and forth. Everything that you, you're, you're completely working to just. Catch a nap and go back to work. <laughs> That's it, man. You have no savings. This is no no putting together nothing to try and 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 and, and nothing for your future or your kids' future. It's just just you, you make enough money to catch a damn nap, man, and go back. Just to have a place over your head, man. It, it, this shit is retarded. But what can you say from a man that you know that that he's incapable of ruling, man? You see, it says um, um, when the wicked are in, in authority, uh, the people mourn. <laughs> it's a lot of mourning going on out here, man. People, people going through it right now. The elderly going through it. Their pensions are not stretching as far as they used to. You got um, the, 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 the single woman with the kids. You know, the food stamps not stretching as far as they used to. The rent going up, you know. Clothes going up. They're trying to send his kids back to school. Everything going up. Car insurance. You know, medical insurance. <laughs> dental insurance. You name it, man. I care. You name it. Everything going up out here, man, under this man's watch. And he's stressing people out. So, you know, I just wanted to just touch on that, man. Esau is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. The Lord is coming soon. It's high time to awake out of sleep. So repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. With that, and this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Can't We can't stress it enough to get away from Esau. Come out of this man's mindset. 
Why would you be out here stressing yourself right now to get some goddamn Christmas gifts for some fat ass white man supposedly coming down your chimney in the name of a uh, 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 white Jesus? All things that were beaten into you, all kinds of idolatry. Are people out here stressing over bullshit, man? Anyway, with that, Kwame Ashala.